Joining us tonight to discuss radical dim election fallout, evangelical support for President Trump, what's going on in this country, we're going to ask Robert Jeffress, pastor of the First Baptist Church of Dallas, Fox Business contributor, author of the book, Choosing the Extraordinary Life. Great to have you with us, Pastor. Let's start Thank with you. this uh, uh, very close uh, race in, in Florida, in Georgia, in Arizona, and other, uh, obviously, other jurisdictions throughout the country. This, uh, in pitting Republicans under uh, whatever guise uh, against uh, left-wing, basically, socialist candidates, and it's yes. neck and neck. What do you make of it? Well, and I can't predict what's going to happen in those races, but, Lou, here's what's going on overall. You know, the left has been doing everything they can to try to delegitimize this president since right. day one. First, it was the collusion illusion. That hasn't worked out. And now they've created what I call the myth of the midterm massacre, this idea that somehow the GOP lost massive amounts because of Trump's unpopularity. That is complete fiction. First of all, President Trump did not have the shellacking that Obama did in losing six House seats and six Senate seats. Right. Instead, he had minimal losses in the House and picked up Senate seats. Yeah. And by the way, Lou, there's this myth out there that somehow evangelical women have abandoned President Trump uh, because of his particular stance and personality. An NBC exit poll from the midterm. What would be the that reason? Would that be because he accomplishes too much? Him. It would it be because he is achieving too much? Is it because he works harder than anyone else? Would it be because Absolutely. he has restored the American way and also the American Trump doctrine uh, throughout the world? I mean, would that be the reason that American women would not like this president? I mean, are you kidding me? <laughs> And it, it, it is just absolutely foolish. And it's not well, true. Well, it's an insult it to women, for crying out loud. Yes, it is. It absolutely is. And look, you know, this collusion illusion, and you're talking about the WikiLeaks things tonight. Look, I don't know what the truth is, but I'm going to tell you this. I think the left is going to be shocked at how little Americans care about this, even if it's shown that the Trump campaign had some knowledge of these emails. People don't care. They voted for him not because of Russia, but because he was the superior candidate, and he's validating that every day. Well, that's absolutely true. And, and the reality is that this is a president who now, after a midterm election, think about it because you pointed it out. Obama lost uh, 60, I believe it was 66 seats uh, in the House. He lost uh, six to six, six, Democrat, six, six uh, seats uh, in the Senate. Uh, and this president looks like he's going to have uh, lost somewhere in the neighborhood of the historical average somewhere which is 33 seats. It looks like that's going to be about par for, for this election. Uh, and gained, gained in, in the Senate. That's only happened uh, twice previously in American history. That's right. So, I mean, those are the realities, and we talk about the reality on, the, on this broadcast. The, <laughs> but there is also the issue of this is a president who has absolutely been betrayed by the leadership in the House of Representatives that's right. for the first two years of his presidency. And leaving undone the wall, leaving undone yes. the, the direction of the country uh, that should be supported by the entire conference in the House and the Senate. Where do we go from here? Well, I'm going to tell two you years. this. The Hopefully well, six. Hey, look, there are going to be some headwinds, but I'm going to make this prediction. Mm -hmm. Lou, I believe that the House flipping and being under the leadership of Maxine Waters and Nancy Pelosi is going to give President Trump an even larger re-election majority win in 2020. This is all going to work for good. I believe that. I believe there's great momentum and support behind this president because he's focusing on results, and we're, receive, we're seeing those results every day of every week. Robert Jeffress, uh, the, we appreciate it very much. Uh, good to have you with us. Uh, one other Thank forecast. Uh, who wins in 2020? <laughs> Donald J. Trump. Just wanted to test you. Just wanted to check. Absolutely. Thanks no so doubt about it. Pastor Robert Thank Jeffress. You.